The next question in keeping track of energy is, can we lose mechanical energy? So can delta K plus delta U be negative? Right. Can the system, this isolated system, can the system lose energy? Well, let's think about that with the pendulum again. And let's do a little experiment that we'll just call stop the pendulum. So we're going to imagine the, the, the pendulum already moving. Right? So here we go. Our pendulum, it's got big amplitude hanging out way over here. And it's going to start going that way. Right? So let's go ahead and get the pendulum started. Here we go. Give it a push. And there it goes. Nice big amplitude on the pendulum. And I'm going to have my finger here ready to stop it rather than start it. It's going to crash into my finger. And let's think about the system. The system is just the pendulum. It's not my finger this time. Here's the Earth. There's the system. The system clearly has a lot of energy, right? It has kinetic potential going back and forth. So when this thing crashes into my finger, let's look at the work on the mass. What is it going to look like? Let's do um, a quick drawing of it here. The force on the mass, when it comes this way and we stop it with my finger, is still going to be this way. F push. But the distance, the displacement, when I push, I'm pushing and it's going back. Right? So actually, delta x is going to be that way. And you know what that means is that the work is going to be F push times delta x times the cosine of 180. 180 degrees, and that means that the work, the external work, is negative. So sure enough, that means we have stopped the pendulum. And it makes sense. The work is negative. That means we lost energy. The energy went down. And that's what really will happen. We know that the pendulum stops. That means it lost energy. No more kinetic energy. And at its, its minimum of potential energy. But let's think a little bit more. Let's go outside the system now. What is the work on my hand? We know that the universe has to conserve energy. So let's think about the hand again. Right On the hand, uh, yeah, we want to draw it. It looks like this. It's pushing. Right, It feels the reaction force, F push. And this push happens over the delta x like that. So you can see what's going to happen. There is going to be work on the hand, and it's going to be positive. It's going to be F push times delta x times the cosine of the angle between them is 0. Right? Both are going the same way, 0 degrees. So you can see the energy, the work that we lost, the negative work done on the system, now it went this way. It is contributed to the hand. It's picked up by the hand. So the work in the universe is conserved. Let's see if this is really true. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to get our pendulum going really big. And I'm going to stop it with my hand. And in addition to this essentially stopping and going to zero energy, I should get some energy in my hand. Right? So let's see if that happens. Here we go. I'm going to stop it. And kinetic energy in my hand. Right? I'm still going. I still got kinetic energy. I can't stop. Right? What mechanism have I told you about that would let me stop? In terms of just simple potential and kinetic energy, there's nothing to absorb this energy yet. But in the next unit, I'm going to explain a way that we can actually get rid of this kinetic energy on my body.